What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Dark Horse Rowing. Today we're talking more about kettlebells because I know how much you guys love kettlebells and also honestly it's one of my second favorite tools. I would put it next to the sandbag. This guy holds a special place in my heart for training. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about how we can use these better for training, better for improving your fitness, even on the rower and especially for the rower or for the sport of rowing, but also how this acts as a really great standalone just for your training in general. So let's discuss that a little bit today. If this is your first time here, my name is Shane Farmer. This is Dark Horse Rowing, and we bring you all the knowledge there is to know about the sport of indoor rowing and also all the peripheral items that may glance off of the sport of rowing. That takes us into all sorts of awesome and wonderful areas. But if it's your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the little bell next to it so that you get an alert every time we come out with a new video and that you can be the first to be on top of it. Today we are talking about kettlebells and why they're such a fantastic training tool. Let's get into it. So here's what I really love about kettlebells. And this like, this goes way back for me. I love fitness wherever I can get it. And it doesn't have to be this like big monstrous hour long workout all the time, throw down kind of thing. Like what I really love about fitness is just having it be functional, like the things that uh, like I can just get a workout done whenever I need to. And that's where kettlebells really shine. Let's just start with the things to look for. Number one, find a kettlebell that's a nice moderate weight for you. Whenever you swing a kettlebell, you're never lifting a kettlebell. You are more often than not using some sort of dynamic range to move the kettlebell. So don't think of it like how much can you lift, but it's more of a how much can your hips handle like unloading into. So when you're thinking about a weight of a kettlebell, there's a full gamut of weights that you can run to. And you can really like just find one, go test it out. I wouldn't just order it on Amazon, go into a store and actually pick them up, feel them and mess with them. Number two, these things are so incredibly versatile. You can deadlift, you can Turkish get up, you can press, you can bench press, you can pull with your arms, with your hips, you can squat. Any movement that I can think of that I can do with a barbell, you can clean, you can snatch, you can do the Olympic lifts with kettlebells. Pretty much any movement that you could do in a gym, you can duplicate in some way with a kettlebell. If that's not versatility, I don't know what is. One single tool that you could handle for almost any exercise for any part of your body, that's about as good as it gets. Unless it's a sandbag, in which case the sandbag still wins out. Point, sandbag. Half point, kettlebell. Yeah. Therein lies like what I really love about it is that I can construct a workout that is perhaps body weight with strength involved because I have a kettlebell. So wherever I am, if I have a kettlebell, I'm sitting pretty. I'm really happy about that workout. Number three, these things are portable. Like a, a rower, yeah, I can break it down and fit it into the back of a reasonably sized vehicle. Yes, I can fit it into my mini and I can fit multiple into like a large vehicle or a truck. But in all honesty, it's just kind of cumbersome and it doesn't travel very well. Kettlebells, on the other hand, throw that in any trunk, any vehicle, anywhere, and you've got a successful workout tool wherever you need to be, whenever you need to be there. And it's very easy to travel with. Yeah, it's going to be, you have to carry it and it is heavy, but so like that's a pretty easy trade off there. The other piece as well, is you, it teaches you to move well. You have to learn to move with a kettlebell. And if you spend enough time with it and really dig into like YouTube, search some videos that are really helpful when it comes to learning and using kettlebells, you'll find a very healthy amount of education behind it. And once you get into kettlebell work, man, the sky's the limit. You can compete in kettlebells. You can start getting onto the kettlebells that we showed you. We've got our standard just iron steel kettlebell that is just regular. Or you can get competition kettlebells, which are very nice and smooth. And they're all the same size. They're just different weights. There's so much versatility in these as a tool that once you start getting into it, you really realize how impactful it can be as a tool. And personally, that's what I love. So. I've created a little workout that I want you to try and I'm going to walk through it here. You'll watch it and then go give it a shot. If kettlebell isn't something you've done before this, you're fine. You're going to find that this five minute workout is going to be surprisingly challenging and should have you breathing heavy and sweaty by the time you're done. And I'm going to show you that a five minute workout is totally possible. So if you are short on time, and you have kids and you work out at home or you don't work out at home yet, you just have 
a small space in your garage, guess what? A kettlebell may be the only tool that you need in your arsenal. So your five minute workout is going to be 10 kettlebell swings, 10 kettlebell swing into a lunge, and you'll see what that looks like, and then 10 push press, which is a press, but I get to use my hips to help me get the kettlebell overhead. I'm gonna cycle through that, and the objective is no setting the kettlebell down for five continuous minutes. That is the challenge and that's the fun of this, is also you can just keep this thing going and going and going. You don't have to set it down for any kind of a rest period. So let's give this workout a try, let's see how it goes, and then I'm gonna give you my feedback on the back. That was tougher than expected. Mostly on my scaps, on my back, my, sh the, my shoulder blades. Got really tired holding that kettlebell here and pressing it. That was an awesome five minute workout. I'm super pleased with that. And I think that you can have a lot of fun with that one, especially in a short amount of time. You need to make it harder, make it harder. Make it five minutes. Make it two minutes if you have two minutes. The point is, this tool is super useful because it can do whatever you need. That's where this thing wins. Like that's where the victory comes in this tool. is just, it's, I keep saying versatility because that is the most useful adjective for this thing. It's just versatile. Look at all the stuff we just did and that's a fraction of the things it can do. So have fun with this one. Go do that workout. So guys, I highly suggest that you go and test out a kettlebell for yourself. If you can pick one up for your own home, I just do it. Do, do me a favor, go buy it now. Just shut the video, turn off your screen, drive to the closest, pull your closest sporting goods store, just find a moderate kettlebell, buy it, and just start ripping out YouTube videos of how to use kettlebells. You will not be sorry. Hopefully you have a rower as well, but this is just another great tool to have in your arsenal to use at home to create great workouts and to get healthy, happy, keep moving for life, like all the important things, why we all come here to this channel to begin with and why you hang out with me is because health is super important and it's one of the things that will keep you moving for the rest of your life and will make your longevity to life that much happier. Um, the kettlebell is an incredibly versatile tool. Find one that works for you. You can take it anywhere, do anything with it. It is not a bad investment. Hell, jump on Craigslist and go find one. You can probably find it a little cheaper than you would at a sporting goods store. Other than that, guys, thank you for hanging out. As always, we'll see you on the other side.